definitely expect for indie, so. Yeah. No, pace yourself. All right, well, geekdownradio at gmail.com if you want to comment on it. Now, we have kept our in-house guests waiting long enough. I want to turn oh the microphone over to Fem Bones. Yeah, yeah! yeah. yeah Lowdown Hello. on Revenge of the Robot Battle Nuns, Fem. How you doing? Oh, I am doing so well. I can't say how excited I am about this show. Like, we took a year off from this show. It's actually our fifth run doing it. And most of our cast has been with us since the first time we did it. And every time I see them, they're like, when are we doing Robot Nuns again? When's it coming back? We've had some of the same fans come back for all five runs. And again, they're like, when is it coming back? Do you have more dates this year? What's going to happen? Are the same, like, because we change things little bits every single time. The story gets more detailed. The characters get more intricate. And it always gets more and more ridiculous. Mm -hmm. So people are always like, what, what's in store this time? And what's in store this time is it's pretty gross, so I'm pretty excited. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Oh, it's, it's, like, it's gonna be amazing. You take the kids now; it's gonna be disgusting. Oh, it's gonna like, be revolting. It it's yeah. belly. that's so good. Oh, like it. Out. Yeah, no, I mean, this show. There's a lot of really great burlesque in, here in Boston, and right now, a big thing is tribute shows or. Uh, shows around a certain like nerd theme and things like that. And I love those shows too. There's a ton of them happening this year, but I get really excited about Robot Nuns because it's an all original script. Uh, it is being turned into a comic book slowly. Actually, yeah, you by mentioned yours, that. Truly. Tell us about that. That's freaking cool. Yeah. Uh, well, I'm a graphic artist, and I've done a little bit of comic work here and there. And it is my dream at some point to turn the entire story into a 300 to 500 page graphic novel. Um, the story actually is incredibly more complicated and deep than we can present it as on stage because, again, this is a crowd that it, it is a burlesque show. They're rowdy, they're fun, and they're easily confused. So we, <laughs> we do try to make it be camp uh. rules, easy to follow because um, there's a lot of characters and a lot of stuff happens to all of them. Mm. So, yes, I'll yeah. see an elbow. <laughs> but basically it's a it's an apocalyptic sci-fi gore-lesque live show mm. um and you start off uh, meeting some of the main characters uh mostly following this female reporter as she's trying to get to the bottom of what's clearly a huge story and she's at a political press conference where we meet the president and his family we have a little helicopter that flies over the ceiling of Oberon <laughs> it is ridiculous um we've got all these like statue of liberty go-go dancers and off the bat we have this crazy thing project uh wild Damn. card oh, and the okay. whole idea is that this virus, when you know exposed, people can affect them in any way, in any form, anything can happen. Okay. Maybe you'll get a superpower, but more likely your insides will probably melt out of your body, or you'll turn into a mutant version while like mutating at the same time as your dog, or you'll turn into a radioactive mermaid, or maybe you'll go crazy and start eating people. Literally anything can happen to you based on your chemical That's like the worst case scenario of like right. Steve Urkel's transformation. Change. Yes. Yeah. That is exactly what it's like. <laughs> it's and of it's course... Step on, you get... Yeah. <laughs> step on, you go with so so <laughs> And of course, in like classical <laughs> B-cam tropes, it, it explodes immediately, infecting everyone at this press conference. And we see... Uh, mostly we follow actually the president's daughter, Sweetheart, who is played by Ginny Nightshade, uh, who's usually known as the one of the main producers of Old School Game Show. Um, just phenomenal actress. She plays our sweetheart, this incredibly bratty, over-the-top, very uh, just... Uh, she's You're going to love to hate her. That's that's the only way to put it. She's like the worst What's part of American part of stereotypes. <laughs> but yeah, no, she's she's... So gross. Uh, and then her president, <laughs> her father's uh, aide, Sir, who's played by Dale Stones, known from Sir Lesk fame, um, nice. who's also yeah, having a show. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and that character is having an affair with her father. So there's an illicit affair between his male aide mm. and the president. And uh, they try to survive the apocalypse and they meet the lesbian spider cult and the crying goat woman. And uh, of course, crazy nurses. And uh, there's the cannibal triplets. And there's a lot that happens in this show <laughs> and uh again there's so much good burlesque in boston but this is definitely a show you will not see anything like it here anywhere else except june 16th and 18th at oberon and um, we mentioned already a splatter yeah. zone too there is a splatter happen. zone there's burlesque there's drag there's stilt walking there's uh psh, there's there's circus arts there's splatter there's video editing there's 
all custom sound effects. A battle will actually happen in the venue. You may get used as a human shield if you're in the audience. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, it's one of the things you're we... You're killing me. Next you're going to say you might even see some boobs. We, you, you see a few of those. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> we uh, mostly see Dale uh, Stones naked. I'm so, okay with that. I've seen I Dale mean, Stones. We're all okay with that. The we're cuts, okay. my friend. Oh, Ridiculous. Uh, it's, no, it's... it's it's great. Now that is an endorsement. Who's just listening, not watching? Right. We really just like it's lost great. bones here. To a <laughs> I, I purposely moved back out the shot so people could see her. Uh, <laughs> so if you're watching her on Twitch, you can zoom in while her face it just saw that oh, zone man. out I, of I, Mr. Stones. I, I must say that is one <laughs> riveting endorsement. Thank yeah. you. I actually yeah. also play probably the second most handsome man in the show. I play Wait, male. You wrote me in the show? That's awesome. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm she said about me. second most handsome. Yeah. Ah, yeah. true. All right. Sorry. Yeah. I, I wasn't listening. Not, I didn't say fifth. Yeah. What? <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. You had to know where that was going. Uh, like, I, I, <laughs> uh, yeah, I can't. I'm walking away. It's like raining on me. Oh, man. No, oh, it's okay. <laughs> Next yeah. you're going to kick the football when I try to kick it right. <laughs> no, yeah, we'll, so you we'll, play we'll a rip band. It away. I do. Uh, I do a lot of drag kinging these days, which I really enjoy. And uh, I'm also in my burlesque troupe, the Slaughterhouse Society. I'm probably one of the more physically strong and bigger people. So it just makes a lot of sense for me to often play male characters uh, in our stories when one is needed. And also, I feel pretty studly. <laughs> when I put on a beard. So, <laughs> Me too. And I have a very when attractive beard in this show. But no, uh, my counterpart in the show is Maggie Maraschino, who, if you've seen any burlesque shows, you've seen her and you remember her. She's a phenomenal dancer. We finally got her back from California. She's in just about everything. And we uh, play this tragic couple where I'm the lead scientist who has created the robot nuns. And my wife, Faith, is being affected by the virus. I happen to be immune. And to try and save her, I've found a way to replace her parts with robotic ones. But while trying to save her, I'm actually destroying any ounce of humanity she has left. So the only way to try to keep her alive is to actually silence everything about her that I love. Yeah. That is now, you were okay. on right? You mentioned just you were twisted. on the show because you've been on before. You mm -hmm. were here to uh, promote Pulp uh, Friction spider and oh. Spider Cold. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, now, how do those relate to this show? Oh, well, Spider Cold, uh, we actually took a year off from Robot Nuns mm -hmm. because I was approached uh, to actually do a spin off musical based off Robot Nuns. So, Spider Cold was actually a prologue. Again, the story is super vast in my head. Like, if you sit me down, I can tell you. A lot more about the story than what you see in the show. I'm very ready to make it into At a At one point, format. man, the kids dressed as spiders and they get in this van. They travel the country with a <laughs> dog. He's got a cigar, like, it's crazy shit. It's crazy. They meet the globe trotters and they meet Phyllis Diller. There's and they a meet... whole burlesque. I've got this whole thing in the back, the which is like all the like pinpoints putting it all together. No, um, but it was a prequel show and it was great. We had an all original soundtrack uh, done by Catherine Capazzi, who's amazing. And it was a great time. In fact, I've met a lot of people who are some of the few newcomers to the show this round from Spider Cult. So if you were at Spider Cult and you loved performers such as Simona Dubois or uh, Wistie or you fell more in love with Mary Widow, well, you're going to see a lot of them. Spider Cult is definitely back in this show and it is more making out than ever before. So if nothing else, there's some crazy cannibalistic spider women who are going to make out and that's going to be pretty worth price of admission. Nice. I'm that just sound saying. Like sounds like, yeah. I feel like yeah. Best in one of those totally sold, teams. yeah. Our spider queen is even uh, Miss Gay Rhode Island, uh, Complete Destruction, <laughs> who also recently joined our troupe. And if you've ever seen Complete Destruction, oh, then you have <laughs> the same feelings I do. Oh, wow. <laughs> I, but I want them, I think. Oh, I man. want those, right? Like I a living this. monster. <laughs> ridiculous makeup Maybe skills and stage minutes. presence. Uh, I need I need a day, an <laughs> evening, maybe just one night. Okay, so give our listeners a heads up. Where can they actually get tickets to this bad boy? Oh, sorry. Where can they purchase? Oh, well, we're doing this at the beautiful Oberon Theater. Again, Oberon is a hub for Boston Burlesque. In this show, it's an all-around experience. So they'll be in the balcony. They'll be in your laps. They'll be in your seats. They'll be running all over the place. They'll and sometimes they're even on stage. And they might be at your house. <laughs> <laughs> hey, they, um, they will be at your house if you don't come to this one. Oh, wow. We're yeah, going to find you. That sounds, that sounds but serious. you can go to AmericanRepertory.com or just honestly just Google search Revenge of the Robot Battle Nuns. You'll 
Should be the only hit, right? Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah, I mean, you know, should be. you know, it should be. Uh, look us up on Internet's Facebook. a weird place. Look no, us but. up on Facebook. We have tons of sneak peeks this year. We have custom uh, nuclear-themed uh, cocktails this year, which is great. I personally am voting for a Bride of Frankenslime cocktail, but we'll see if that happens. Um, oh, but like tickets... A, an adult ecto-cooler. I'm feeling yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But tickets are... Dress, I got it. Slurm. Slurm. Don't go slurm. I got a bride dress if you need it. But uh, tickets are between 15 to 25, depending how deep in the splatter zone you want to be. Again, the show is only June 16th and 18th. The last time we did this, we had a four-show run, and they sold out like crazy. And every year, people ask, is there one more ticket? And the answer is no. So you should get your tickets while they last. Enjoy us in the apocalypse. Again, you will not be disappointed. This is a bomb-ass show. Nice. Revenge of the Robot Battle Nuns. Bones, thank you very much. You're, You're welcome. <laughs> All right, now, I um, just want to jump into a real quick review. I got to check out the movie that is pretty much number one in the box office right now, 